go from one electric pickup truck to another. Uh, electric startup Canoe, the company started by former Faraday Future employees, is now a publicly traded company with the ticker symbol Go EV. after going public with a SPAC in December of 2020. Yeah, Canoe's latest Q1 earnings report was concerning for investors. With only $104 million in cash on hand, they had a loss of $125 million for the first three months of the year. So Canoe was forced to admit that, quote, there is substantial doubt about the company's ability to continue as a going concern. Now, this is something Canoe had to say because of accounting rules. When you're burning through cash this fast, that's what you have to say. Is it possible that as CEO Tony Aquila says, we have more than 600 million in accessible capital to support start of production as operators and investors, we have significant experience raising capital in challenging markets. And the best way to raise capital is to achieve your goals. We will continue to raise when needed, bridge to milestones and be in a position to take advantage of improving market conditions. Uh, OK, wait. So they have one hundred and four million dollars cash on hand mm -hmm. in, the, in the past three months. They burned one hundred and twenty five million. Mm -hmm. So they're going to need to start raising capital now. Uh, now. Now would be a good time to start raising capital because it right. seems like you don't have enough uh, like like money to make it through the, this quarter. Right. It seems to me that Canoe is in serious trouble. And I mean, all the good news doesn't mean that much if they can't get through what Elon has said many times is the hardest part, which is mass production. Also, Canoe is suing their second largest shareholder, Pak Tam Lee of DD Global, citing suspicious stock share sales. That is not a good sign. OK, so uh, what's the what's the good news? Well, Canoe points out that they have 17,500 pre-orders worth 750 million and that they have produced 39 gamma vehicles. They also point out that NASA just selected them to make ground transportation vehicles for the Artemis moon project. But Canoe expects operating expenses of between 95 to 115 million and capital expenditures of between 85 and 105 million just this quarter alone. So uh, you add those two numbers together. Add them together. Um, so that would be about $200 million a quarter, and they only have $100 million of cash on hand. Right. And even if they carry out their fundraising, so $300 million of that is issuing more stock, which is likely to pull down their stock price even further. Ouch. Um, OK, so now we're getting down into the uh, Lordstown section where it's in the it's in the uh, reject discount bin at the yeah. store. And do you think some other OEM might buy them? I was thinking that Foxconn <laughs> might buy them uh, like they did with Lordstown um, and roll production into their new Ohio plant. So just it's the island of misfit toys. <laughs> just yeah, we'll take the Fisker. We'll take the, the canoe, whatever. Back it on in. If people have pre, you know reservations for I mean, it would be nice. I think people would appreciate that. Right. A lot of people like this truck and I don't well, blame them. And here's the thing. Foxconn knows how to produce things. So, I mean, a lot of these other companies, you might be like, why are you picking on them? I'm picking on them because it's hard to get from idea and design and prototype to mass production. Mm -hmm. Foxconn knows about mass production. So, yeah, it might be a win win, right? Because you get these pretty cool designs. I love that van. And a lot of people like the pickup truck um, and then a company that knows how to make them. Let us know in the comments what you think. Do you want a canoe slash Foxconn truck or not? Or do you want nothing? Because <laughs> it looks like that might be it. You lose, sir. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let us know what you think. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depth on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.